Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm gonna be teaching you variables in JavaScript. So now let's hop into the video. Okay, yeah, so since a lot of people are uh, like beginners and need to understand Discord more, Discord.js, that's why I'm making this uh, new playlist or series that will be called Discord.js Basics. So now let's start. So you'll find the Discord link in the description in case you needed any help or something. So first of all, we're gonna see uh, what we're gonna talk about in this video. So we're gonna talk what it, what are variables and what is a variable, and what uh, are they used for and how they work, and what will happen if I don't have them, and general information about them. So what are the variables? So we got three variables that they are var, let, and const. Those are JavaScript variables. So before 2015, using the var keyword was the only way to declare a JavaScript variable. And var still has some issues, that's why it is not usually used a lot. And by the way, the link for this presentation will be in the video description, so you can go and check it. Okay, so how to use it and why we use it. So we, we use it to define stuff and we can like def define more than one thing using var per time. So as you can see down there, there is var person equals John die, uh, I don't know how to say his name, and then car name and price. You can just do it like that using var. Okay, and var has a global scope, that means if you define something using var between a block, and uh, block mean between brackets or parentheses, you can still use it out, like outside them as well, it will still work. And that's an example if you don't understand. Here I made the var embed equal new message discord and in, in like in a block between the first bracket that it is in the first line and the uh, second bracket that it is in the uh, one two three four five five uh, fifth line and as you can see after the bracket is closed i use message dot channel dot send embed and it will still work so let let's talk about that so that is basically the but better so, so far they are both used for the same purpose that it, uh, defining stuff. So there is an example down there, like let car and let person, let price, okay. So let can define the same thing uh, different times, and let's see an example for that. So basically as you can see here, I did let prefix and then I made blank. Blank that I mean I didn't type equal or anything, I just put a, like that. Uh, comma with a point I don't know how to call that so I said like I defined it something else it is prefixes and prefixes I made it db.fetch prefix and that means that it will search in the database what is a database it is something that I store my data in it okay so I said the prefixes will be that so if there is a data okay uh, like it will be like that okay so now if prefixes is equal null so there is no data prefix as you can see here i used prefix equal x exclamation mark uh, the first i said let prefix as you can see i, I defined it again here else if like else so if something else prefix will be equal to prefixes so if there is the, like the data in if there is data in the database so as you can see, I def I used prefix twice in different cases. So now that don't have a global scope, that means it's block scoped. And let's see what does that mean. So that means that if I used it like var, I put the message dot embed because I defined embed between the brackets, and I put the like message channel embed outside the bracket, it will not work. It will say embed is not defined. But if I you put like message dot uh, uh, message dot channel descent embed in the same bracket as you can see, it's gonna send the embed and there is nothing uh, like nothing will be wrong. So now moving on on the const variable. 
So the const key, uh, keyword is for giving variable a constant value which may not be reassigned. So const is like that, it is also a block scope. Like block scope. So let's see here. It cannot be used the same way as let, like you can you cannot type const p like that. It is incorrect, you must have const p equal like that. Okay, so now you understand it is constant. Now usually const is used for defining uh, content stuff such as requiring files because they are constant and sometimes to define something in those files and let's see an example for that. And here example defining models, packages or file. So we're gonna do const discord require discord.js and that's how I define discord. And let's see another example. So here defining something in files. So first of all I will define the file that it is config.json. So I use const config equal require config.json and then the prefix. So that config dot prefix and token dot prefix that's how i define stuff using a const and there is alternative for them too there they are down there you can check them but it is not really recommended okay so there is a easier way to use them that we can just instead of typing like defining the config.json and then defining the prefix and then defining that like on three steps we can just do it on one step that is const prefix and token equal require config.json so now moving on the error section, so what kind of error we can get? So Discord is undefined, or user is undefined, or like moment is undefined, anything is undefined that means you need to define it. What does variables do is defining stuff, so you need to use variables. So if you don't put like Discord equal require Discord.js, so you're gonna get this error because you need to require Discord modules, uh, like modules is package, you know. So you're gonna use that. The caps have an effect also. So uh, like if Discord, if you type disc, uh, const Discord with the capital D, you should have yeah, in your code you should have it with a capital D. But if you use the small D you, in your code, it will be small D. I guess you kind of understood now how is it working. So the caps also have an effect on your code. So cannot access a client before initialization. So basically, you cannot or anything, not only client. You can it, it can be anything else. So in the first picture or like in both of the, those picture, I defined in uh, I defined it I defined it client using const client equal require new Discord client. Okay, but in the first one. I used client like I def I used the word client after like before I define it. So that's wrong. I should define it first then use it. As you can see the difference in the pictures. So now identifier client has already been declared. So it can be something else not only client as I always say. So what does that mean? That means that I have uh, like define the same thing twice. I cannot do that. Like I cannot do const client and const client twice. I should change it to like const client and the second one would be const client two. Okay, and that's for everything, not only client. So now we're gonna just see another other usages. So if you got like uh, user undefined or something like that, you can just use those stuff. But uh, here in the first one it will be const user equal uh, message.author so user will be basically message.author so whenever I type in the code user it will make reference to message.author so instead of every time typing message.author I will just type uh, user same with let, let like it, it is not uh, like you, you can change them that const they are both the same in this case so here, as you can see, in the second one, I type let user equal message dot users dot mentions the first. That means it will get the first person mentioned in that message. So if you want to know more about uh, JavaScript and databases and hosting and stuff like that and how to make a website using HTML and CSS, make sure to check out my uh, Discord uh, like Discord server link in the description and to subscribe for more. So that was it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, don't forget to like and to subscribe and to leave a comment down below what you want the next video to be, that's it and ciao.